Proudly sitting as the fastest growing category in the bicycle industry, the booming popularity of e-bikes is impossible to ignore. In this video, we're going to give you a brief overview of everything to know about e-bikes. E-bikes come in most styles that normal bikes come in. There are mountain e-bikes, commuter e-bikes, road e-bikes, and even folding e-bikes. All that makes an e-bike is electrical riding assistance. They all have some sort of motor and some sort of battery, as well as a specific method for their delivery of electrical assistance. You'll likely find the motor on your e-bike at the middle of the bike, near the cranks, or at one of the wheel hubs, most likely the rear. There aren't significant differences in performance between the two positions, however there are some practical considerations. Pedelec motors save wear and tear on your wheels and offer a more natural ride fuel, but are typically more expensive. Hub drive motors are cheaper, but can stress out the components such as the wheel that they're attached to. Motors need a power source, and this is provided by the battery. There are two types of battery, externally mounted and integrated batteries. External batteries are heavier, but replaceable and removable, which mean they're often a more convenient option, particularly when charging. Integrated batteries are lighter and have better heat management. However, they come with an added cost and mean that you need to wheel the entire bike closer to a power outlet for charging. The motor on an e-bike is engaged in one of two ways, through a throttle-based delivery or through pedal assistance. Throttle-based delivery works in the same way as a throttle on a motorbike. The motor delivers the power in a consistent output based on the position of the throttle. On pedal assistance e-bikes, you're given electrical assistance only as you pedal. There are sensors placed either in the motor or at the cranks that measure out the force you're putting into pedaling and meters out the assistance accordingly. The end result is a much more efficient use of the battery and overall a superior ride feel. You do not need a license or permit to ride an e-bike, however they are regulated in Australia. They're restricted to 25 km per hour or 250 watts of assistance. E-bikes also come with unique maintenance requirements. A specialist technician is needed for maintenance on the motor, but these should not need much attention over the bike's lifetime. In all other aspects, e-bikes are just like any other bike. So with these electrified steeds becoming more and more popular, you can expect to see these out on your local trail network or bike paths sometime soon. So for more information, check out our comprehensive buyer's guide below or like and subscribe for more bike videos courtesy of us here at Bike Exchange.